Wise Whisper Sister. I wanted to do another poetry video from the same book um, as before uh, called The Breath You Take from the Lord by Patrick Friesen. And if you remember, these poems are numbered. They don't have titles. Well, some of the ones later have titles, but um, anyways, I just made a little note of a few that I really like, and I'm going to read those ones. So I hope you enjoy. Uh, number 12. You come to him as a man in the heat of July, the dog scratching bloated ticks with a hind leg. You sit on the bench someone has built in the clearing, and you gaze at what you've known. You know there is something much wilder than you are. You know it can't be named. What is it but finality? What you're left with instead of an answer, instead of solace? Or not that at all, but the question you didn't expect, or the question you couldn't shake. No, it's the conversation you've always had inside, the maul and grind of fear and love. None of that's right, and who are you talking to? This longing is such an unrelenting song. You are a stranger to him. He gave you flesh and blessed you, and that is enough. Listen, some men stand in their own smell wherever they are. They can't walk away. Okay. Uh, number 14. So you've grown old and still here in this poverty of land and soft wind on your face. You have love, this you know, and you pray thanks you are not too old for her arms. You like to watch her when she's unaware of you and you are not in this world. She walks where she wants, where you have been asleep or watched from the leaves. Her eyes are dark, returned from sorrow, dark and hungry, and you can't help yourself. You watch her in the clearing, moving through your terrain, and she turns to watch you. That's when you know that she draws you back, her hand waking you, and you are flesh. And only someone with her solitude could manage this, could touch you alive. Stand where you are, that's something. Stand and know where you are. Snow drifts thick and soft, you lose the world. There's nothing to see, and you gain your soul. Can you speak that way? Can you speak as if it matters, as if it really comes down to that? You're exhausted by the dance of anything goes, by the dance of nothing is known. And you're tired of the certainty of prophets, of words that haven't passed through the heart. Snow slants across the world, wind picking up, moaning through the spruce and pine. Sometimes you wish you weren't human, but it's love that stops you and throws you down. Your lover asleep near you, her wrist glistening with bracelets, breath slipping through her lips. There's nothing you can make of this. It won't fit in the book. It can only change the world. God with his anger, Christ with his miracles, you wanted to believe it all, but it hasn't worked well. And yet you saw your father go with Jesus in his eye. You have to believe this was so. A man at the end left with nothing but his Lord, the ground of his dignity and his glory. You can't take that from him for a moment. You have to believe as he believed. But it's the absence of this man. You enter a wistfulness you can't explain. You call it love. Snow hooks in the branches of the aspen, and you think you'd go anywhere with the Lord. Your heart so full, your eyes cold as stone, your children somewhere on this earth. Okay. Number 22. You look at her in the late light. You look at her for long minutes. Look at her lying naked. Her eyes watch only your eyes as they slowly caress her, caressing the length of her. You delay your hands. They want to see her too. Your hands have known her well. You gaze across the clearing, this place. The hawk surveys this place where it will die. You know each time that you have hardly seen her. Each time you look a last time. This is ravage, this looking, this is the demand of the raptor's gaze, a measuring, and this is the tenderness of civilized man, 
This is the love that has been learned slowly. So much moves through you, lineage, man and animal, and you are almost still. You stoop over her with a desire that can't be said. You long beyond what can be done. You look at her because you know that when you follow your hands there will be a close. So you lean further and stare, your eyes narrowing toward that inevitable threshold. For a moment your eyes meet, and you are shaken by her desire, by her deep call. She wants your rapacious eye, she wants that instant between the gaze and the motion. And then you know she wants to see your eyes close, always she wants to see your eyes close. You look at her in the late light, her eyes following yours as they slowly rake her. She does not see what you see. She finds only your eyes seeing, and this is all she is given. And you do not know what she knows of you, your crouch there suddenly bare. This is when you need stone, or something rooted, as you loosen into embrace. There is nothing possible in the clearing. God passes through you, and you are left looking. She reaches for you, her hand at your face, her bracelets shimmering for a moment. You are awake in this light, a hawk's wing caught by sun as it tilts abruptly toward earth. different things. 